Hey guys, what's up? Jetadog here. Uh, I just bought myself a copy of Mo uh, Mojang's new game, Scrolls, and I'm going to be playing through it here a little bit. Um, this is just kind of a quick look. Um, so go along for the ride with me, and we'll check out this game and take a look at what it's got to offer. Um, right now, there's some nice music playing, but I have that muted so that you guys can hear what I'm saying. But um, so this is the first thing I see when I boot into the game. Um, the client is full screen, unlike the Minecraft one, which is kind of nice. It feels like a much smoother, more polished client. It's got some nice animations, nice sound, nice artwork. Um, no longer going with developer artwork. <laughs> it's actual uh, art assets. But um, so this is a deck-based trading card kind of game. Um, it looks like it's. I I always go to Yu-Gi-Oh whenever I think of trading card games because that's what something I played a little bit with my brothers. Um, I was I was. I was I would say I was a little too old to be playing that game but all my little brothers had it so I played it and I enjoyed it. Uh, I played it with them. Never really got into collecting though because if I start wasting money on real money on things like that I'd burn all my money cuz I like collecting things. But anyway, um so as soon as you log in this is the first screen you get hit with. Um so you get to choose your first deck. So let's take a look. So growth. So this sounds like it's like the nature deck, plants, beasts, um, deck is cheap, quick to attack, nurture units, and they'll grow into weapons of overwhelming power. Synergy is the key to mastering the power of nature. So this is order, military might, tactical positioning. So these are like the military units, it sounds like. Cerebral players, alone these units may seem weak. We'll use them wisely, you'll dominate the battlefield. And then the last one is energy. Hmm... Ruled by machine priests. Interesting. So like the necromancers, technophiles, I guess. I don't know. They don't do it subtle, loud, and explosive. Strike hard, cannons, contraptions, direct damage. So this sounds like this is kind of like a late game kind of deck. So this is probably your standard deck where it's all about strategy and whatever. This sounds like it's early game, quick, fast attacking units. And this sounds like it's your advanced end game kind of, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. I'm not, I've never played Magic. I don't know anything about anything that's similar to that. But um, that's kind of my first go. So this sounds like this is like your Terran. If this was StarCraft, this is Zerg, this is Terran, and this is Protoss. So we're going to go with Terran, just the basic standard. Yep, we'll go with that. And again, nice UI, nice buttons, nice sounds. This is all looking very pretty. Again, there's loud music blaring, but I have that muted right now. I actually have all uh, in, I all sounds muted, but we'll turn that on in a little bit. I if I can turn the music down. Oh, hello. Okay, we're already at the... I'm going to turn this down a significant amount. All right. There, now I'll unmute it so you can hear it. Hopefully it's... An appropriate volume but it's quiet enough now that it's not going to distract me so again this is a nice looking uh, UI nice client here it's like I get to customize my avatar so it looks like there's a limited number of heads but you can swap in whatever you want go with the faceless dude in the tin can maybe oh I like that staff that staff looks kind of cool Maybe we'll go with... That looks like the one dude from Street Fighter. Hmm. That is a pretty sweet mustache. I like his goggles, though. He also has a sweet mustache. Hello. I like the color of that coat. Alright, we'll go with this. Um, well, what is this? Oh, hello. Looks like that's... It says set, but I guess it's kind of gender. We'll go with this. We'll save. So, I have zero rating. I've just booted up the game. I've never played any matches, so I'm guessing this is like your ranking. 
uh, from what I read, these are your in-game currency, so if you play League of Legends, this is like your IP, this is like your RP. Um, and what, uh, what they said, Mojang Studios said, is that you don't need any of this to win. It's not a pay-to-win game. All things that you need to play competitively can be unlocked with in-game currency. But obviously, if you choose to plunk down some cash, you can get there faster. And you don't have to play as many matches to get the cards that you want. So, um, I also read, so generally you're going to be buying random scrolls. But you can also buy them from specific sets if you want to plunk down almost twice the price it looks like. And then this is a pack of 10 cards and you're guaranteed to get two rares or something, I can't remember. There's advantages to buying the pack, I guess. And then these are six individual cards, face-up cards they call them, that you can choose to purchase. But obviously they're significantly more expensive than buying random cards, except for this one, I guess. Must be particularly weak, I don't know. But um, And then these are the pre-constructed decks. Which, I don't know how many cards they contain. Oh, these are avatars. Oh, cool. So you can get more customized avatars, but it looks like you either need to spend in-game currency or plunk down some cash. Alright, well, that's kind of cool. Alright, oh, and you can sell? Interesting. And this is shards of this uh, real real money. Um, so let's go to the deck builder and look at the deck I was given. So I picked order. So I have 50 order cards, it looks like. No whatever the I don't remember the names whatever but I have all order units right now oh this is cool you get an in-game preview oh my face is blocking it all right hang on I'm gonna move my face somewhere I'm not sure where a good place to put me is you know what I'm gonna turn me off for a minute oh hang on there we go I'll, I'll be back I'm just gonna hide my face for a minute all right so there's this looks like this is the in-game view of the unit Oh, this is a this is a spell, so that's not a unit. Interesting. So these are all spells. Looks like this is a unit. That's what it looks like. Oh, and it says how many of each you have. So I have two of these. I have three of these. This is a spear guy. These are all spells. More stuff. Um, I'm not gonna worry too much about this moment what does this arrow do oh this is the menu okay so this looks like this is the news these are the top rated players all right cool so let's go to the arena and play the tutorial I guess oh it looks like this is a chat oh and you can trade I'm not accepting trade invites not accepting challenges <laughs> Let's not do that right now. All right, so it looks like there's a chat system. There's rooms. You can say things. We're going to go to the tutorial. Let's do the tutorial. Is there a convenient place to put my face? I think I can put myself in the upper right-hand corner. Make myself a little smaller. All right, sweet. Another young fool wishing to learn the way of the scrolls. teaching me the basics. All right. In order to cast, you need to pay the resource cost. And you get resources by sacrificing. So I've never played this. I don't know the rules. I watched a little bit online, but uh, I'm doing this for the first time. So you click the green growth icon, and that generates a resource. So now I have one resource. Your resources will replenish at the beginning of each of your turns. So place it on the board. My face is in the way again. Hang on. We'll go with that. So the first number is attack. One damage. Countdown shows how often it attacks. One means it attacks every turn, so this is every other turn. And this is health, so it can only take two damage. And 
Oh, so it comes into play with the countdown set to zero. So this card can attack on the turn it's summoned, I guess, if it's zero. So it can attack the same turn it's summoned. That's, that's nice. It's convenient. The big yellow number at the top is the resource cost. One, earth, whatever. I can also move it to nearby tiles. The unit's countdown decreases by one at the beginning of every round. When it reaches zero, it will attack. So this starts with zero, so it'll attack the turn it's summoned. Unless the rules state otherwise, yep. And it attacks in a straight line towards the enemy idols. Haste. Attack turn it's summoned. Click the hourglass to end your turn and begin your attack. Boom! One damage. Oh. I too will summon a unit that will not summon a creature. He chooses to summon a structure. Structures can be very useful, although my useless contraption is good for nothing but blocking attacks. Some have powerful abilities. Structures cannot move, so think about where you place them. Apart from units, creatures, and structures, scrolls can be either enchantments or spells. So, creatures and structures are the units, and then there are also enchantments and spells. So, four types of things. Two of them are units. Enchantments are placed on units, making them better or worse. Spells can do a lot of different stuff. Basically, you have to read the rules. That makes sense. It gives me five scrolls. Keep sacrificing and summoning. One new scroll per turn. You may only sacrifice once per turn. Okay, so you get one new scroll every turn. So you get to draw a card, basically. And you can only sacrifice one card a turn. You may choose to sacrifice a scroll to get two new ones. Just click the scroll icon instead of the resource icon. So you can either sacrifice for resource, or you can sacrifice for more cards. But you can only sacrifice once. Oh, and the most poor part, how to win. We each have five idols on the edge of the map. They have ten health. You need to destroy three out of the five. So it's straight lines, kind of like plants versus zombies, I guess. I like that. Alright, so let's see what I got. So this is a unit. This gives something plus to attack. It's a unit, plus to attack. All units you control gain plus to attack till the end of the turn. So that's pretty powerful, I guess. I'll hang out of that. I only have one unit, so I, I'm assuming I should sacrifice something for more resource so I can play more things. So this thing's on cooldown, right? So he won't attack this turn. So let's sacrifice. So he's not even attacking this turn. I guess I might as well play it. Okay. Alright, we're learning. Summons another structure. My turn. So he will attack this turn. I'm assuming I want to keep sacrificing things. I have two of these mangy wolves. I don't want to sacrifice my spell, so we'll just sacrifice one of these. Um, I'm going to save this. Although I should be careful. I'm running out of cards because I'm sacrificing so much. Boom. So it only has one attack. Ooh, for each of my wolves. For each of your grave locks. Grave hawk gains one attack. What is this? Is this a grave lock? What is it? What's a grave lock? I have no idea what a grave lock is. Are these no, those are idols. Oh, that's cool. It like pops up when you hover over them. That's kind of cool. The interface is really nice. Everything looks good. My avatar looks badass. This guy looks weird, but you know, he has five cards. I have four, but I have more resource than him. So I could summon this, or I could sacrifice for more cards. I'll sacrifice for more cards. 
And now I can still play something. Oh, this one's even weaker. Oh, but I get to draw a scroll when I play this. And I still have resource after that. Oh, interesting. So the creature that... He only has two health, though. Probably save this and put it on a stronger creature. Something with more health, like this guy. But I can still play this, I guess. It has a cooldown of two, though, so it's not going to attack this turn. I'm going to get to draw another card. I only have one resource can only play this, and I don't want to waste it on any of these units, so I'm going to end my turn. And my cooldowns change. Oh, so he just buffed this structure, I think? So, whatever destroys that takes four damage. In melee combat. So if I hit it with a ranged attack, it doesn't take damage. Interesting. Alright, I have three resource, I need more resource. I got this person again, I'll just sacrifice him again, I guess. For more resource, because I have plenty of cards. Now I can summon this. When it deals damage, it's healed by one. Other wolf creatures you have in your control have their countdown increased by one. Decreased by one. Ugh. When When it comes into play. So it's his, his countdown's already at zero. So I could play it or I could wait until next turn because it can't attack right away anyway. I'm thinking about this too much. I already sacrificed to this turn, right? I'm just going to play it, whatever. Oh, it's like the same thing, only he's really scraggly looking. It's funny. So his countdown's two, so he'll get healed by two when he attacks. Um. So he's going to attack this turn. He's not. She's not. But I can... I'll save this enchantment to put on the big wolf. The great wolf. Boom. Damage. What is this? Oop. Oh. It's a structure. So he gains a resource when he plays it, and it just takes one damage. So it's more of a, it's another wall. <clears throat> Alright, I don't have enough resource yet. This statue can heal itself, that's kind of cool. I think I'll play it. I have two of these Great Wolves, do I really need two? Or I could sacrifice the structure and play a Great Wolf. I kind of like the wall though, just in case. I can still sacrifice this turn. I might as well. Oh. No, I'll hang on to it. It's a good unit. Okay. I'm assuming units block attacks as well. That would only make sense. I should have placed the wall behind this chick. She's going to get owned. So this guy can summon a wolf instead of attacking. Interesting. I do need to sacrifice something though if I want to play a great wolf. Oh, and it gets plus one attack for every other wolf I control. Holy smokes. So I could play two of these. Mm, let's just sacrifice this. Play one of these. Okay, cool. Boom! One down. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. What did he just do? Sacrifices all your structures. Okay, so this guy just got buffed based on that thing. Is he going to attack this turn? No. She's going to attack this turn, but then all three of these guys are going to attack next turn. So I can... Oh, I can play this guy too. So I can play this next turn. When I play this, draw one scroll. Meh. I need to sacrifice for cards next turn. Oh, geez, he does a lot of damage. Okay. Sacrifice for cards. I can do a couple things this turn. Countdown increases by one. I was going to play this this turn, wasn't I? Alright, let's do it. Oh, I should, I should move this guy, I guess. It's destroyed after attacking, but it does a lot of damage. Four damage. But he has a ton of health. I'm not worried about him. Um. This thing's already broken, so I should move him to another lane. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I wonder what happens if you stack people in lanes. Well, let's find out. Totally playing this next turn. I have two resources I can play this. Enchanted creature becomes poisoned for three rounds. He's just going to attack and it's going to get destroyed, so I don't need to waste that. Can I sacrifice? No. I already sacrificed this turn. Yep, he moved it. Okay, so you can move and attack the same turn, I guess. I wonder if units stacked in a lane can attack. So I'd do 8 damage. That would kill that idol if they can attack at the same time. Oh, wait. Oh, I have bonus damage. Well, whatever. Um. So he has haste, so he'll attack the turn he's summoned. I have five resource. Plus one health, plus one attack, plus three health. And its move is decreased by one. What do they mean move? Meaning how far they can move? Oh yeah, it looks like he's being rooted by a tree or something. So he can't move after you affix that power to him. Um, I eh, might as well. Wait, this is the turn I was going to use this, right? Yeah. So let's cast this. And then let's... Oh, he's going to one-shot this thing. Oh, yeah. Watch this. Watch this. I can poison them. Does that do damage or something? I don't know. I have no cards. <laughs> Boom, one shot. Oh, they can both attack. Alright, sweet. That was easy. Okay, cool. Interesting. What are the trials? Single player quick match, single player trials. So that was the tutorial where they teach you how to play. No, I don't want to talk to anyone. Leave me alone. Okay. So I'm assuming... So that wasn't my deck. I was using the tutorial deck. 
So this is my deck. Which I know I know what none of this does. But um so let's try a quick match now, I guess. Just get into it. Go easy. Use my pre constructed deck. Alright, so this is a single player match. I'm assuming it's going to be slightly more difficult than it was before. So this is a unit. All of these are spell. This is a unit. Sin marked zealot can be sacrificed to deal two damage to target unit. Remove all enchantments. When enchantment unit you control is destroyed, increase your order by one. Plate armor. All combat damage to enchanted unit is decreased by one. Nice. Ranged attack. Four, two, three cooldown. So it's the same unit as this. One attack and two health. So. I need to sacrifice though. We'll sacrifice this guy. Bye, buddy. And I should probably play a unit. Let's mirror him. Alright, cool. Oh, it's still my turn. Herpaderp. I already sacrificed, so I can't do anything because I'm out of resource. My turn. So we just four damage. So it would shatter this in one turn. Oh no no no! It's reduced by one. Yeah, it would still destroy it in one hit. I don't have to play it quite yet, though. Remove all enchantments would probably be useful eventually, but I'm just gonna get rid of it. Since I can't summon any units, I might as well just buff this guy. And go. So he's gonna attack next turn. Might as well place my what is this? Oop, freaking out. So he deals damage to the attacking unit. And he has four health, which means he'll still get one shot by that, unless I buff him with the enchanted armor. But I don't have enough to sack or summon him. Um. I'm gonna need to sacrifice for cards pretty soon. It looks like I can probably prevent damage by just placing those there. Boom! Oh, it only did one damage. Oh, all damage dealt is reduced to one. Nice! I'm so good at this game. Alright, so I'm going to attack this turn. Relentless, what does that do? So if it destroys the thing blocking it, it will continue to attack, but it only does three damage. If the cooldown is two. Nope, I won't, I won't uh, be able to attack him before he attacks me again. Although I wonder if I would have placed the wall up front if I could attack from behind the wall. I would guess... I don't know. Maybe you can? I don't know. Whatever. I can summon it. Might as well use it. So he's going to attack. I need to sacrifice for cards soon. I said that earlier. I need to sacrifice for cards. So he's going to knock this whenever these two guys attack. But it's not going to damage my thing just yet. <clears throat> oh, it's decreased to one, not by one. Nice. Okay, so that's pretty powerful, I guess. All other creatures you control on the same row as Royal Infantry Trimmon gain plus one health. So he'll gain health if I put him in the same row as him. 
Or I could sacrifice him for cards. Peace. So it's the same as this guy. Um, we'll go with that. Oh no, it's not the same. He only deals one damage. Well, you know. Okay, that wall is screwed. Deals two damage to attacking unit. Which would kill him. But he wouldn't live to kill him. Unless I enchant him, but I don't have enough resource. I need to sacrifice for cards again. Okay, so that's the same as this guy, right? Yeah, it is. So he's going to destroy that next time he attacks. Ten, three. Uh, let's do this. That rock is screwed, though. I already sacrificed this turn, right? Might as well spend this card. Interesting. Okay, cool. So whichever one of these guys attacks next is going to win, which is my guy. And he'll continue to attack regardless and hit that idol, which is nice. This guy doesn't deal much damage, but if he gets attacked, he'll deal two damage. If I could move him into the way of these guys, it's not going to be in time though, is it? Oh, maybe. And then I could give him this enchantment, and he'll be able to block all of their attacks, kind of like a wall. But I still need to sacrifice, don't I? Um... Target unit's cooldown is doubled. Law what? Target unit and all adjacent units. So I can play both of these actually. So I can double his cooldown to six. And he's gonna die anyway, so I can play this on him. LOL 237. They're not attacking anytime soon. One idle down. No point in playing in that row. So I'll deal damage if I attack. Or I'll take damage if I attack him, right? Yeah. There's no reason to attack him. That has seven. That also has seven. He's going to kill him this turn. I can move him to that row, I guess. I need to get him in the way of these guys. And then enchant him with that. Relentless, what does that do? Oh, that's right, he'll keep attacking. I should move him so we can kill that thing. Play that there. Okay, cool. Yep, killed it. Wait, he's supposed to keep attacking. I thought. Okay, guess not. So adjacent units gain plus two attack. F is cooldown hits zero. But, if I have this guy in the way with this enchant, it does not matter. And he's enchanted.
Eh, yeah, screw it. We'll do it. And I have no cards, because I'm a pro. <laughs> so bad. Alright. Oh, that idol is... Oh, they're moving. Oh, you guys suck. Okay, I need to get some cards. I don't know what he just did, but I'm scared. Okay, I gotta kill some stuff. Three, one, one. I need cards. Hmm. I'm getting in trouble here. How come my guy didn't do that? Ugh. Another crossbow guy. If I can knock that idol down. Before it... Um... Okay, cool. Oh, we're gonna hang on to it and sacrifice it for cards. Alright, I'm getting low on units, so this is getting rough. Another one? Oh man, I'm in big trouble. Okay, yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Just need to kill that idol. Looks like it's gonna be really hard to do though. Wait, he just doubled all of his cooldowns? <laughs> he played it on his own guy. <laughs> oh, maybe he's trying to sync up cooldowns or something. Alright, I have a bunch of spells and nothing to play them on. And that also heals him because I put that other enchant on him.
might as well play it, I guess. Fudge. Oh, wow. I thought he was only supposed to take one damage. Alright, looks like I'm gonna lose. Oh, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. I have no units. How am I supposed to kill these guys? Oh my god. So it looks like stacking in a couple lanes with a bunch of units is a good strat. Fudge. Hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess this game's not as straightforward as I thought. Oh, dude, I'm getting owned so hard by the easy AI. Shoot. Oh, sweet, I got one of these. Well, let's see. This might be... I still might be able to do this. Six. Oh, shoot. Can I target? No, I can't. Alright. Ooh, all units gain plus three to the end of turn. Might be a lost cause up top. Shoot. Stack in this lane, maybe. I hope they leave bottom alone. No enchantments. Oh, it's all my resource, though. Well, shoot. Hmm. Lost cause. Not protecting that. Shoot. Obelisk, eh? That could be useful. Only have five resource though. So he's going to attack, but it's not even going to kill the first guy, unless I enchant him. And now he's going to die. No, no, he's not, because he has cooldown. His cooldown's up. Yeah, I'm, he's died. He's dead. Shoot. This is hard. Oh, jeez. I, I just don't have enough units. <laughs> God. <sighs> Fudge.
Well, he's not about to end the game right now. Snap. But it's not really an attacking unit. He has a lot of health, though. Kind of. I should have used him to block another lane. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's over. I should have used him to block this lane. Darn! Just got owned. Did I get any coins for that? Okay, so I got 50 coins. Playing or losing to an easy AI, which isn't terrible. It's half of a card, technically. No. So, I guess this will be enough for a quick look. Um, you get an idea of what the game is about. Um, I'm probably going to play this more, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Um, well, actually, let's spend some of our, our cash. Might as well uh, try this out. It's not like I'm not going to buy cards. So it's interesting that there's different resource sets. So let's buy, let's buy a pack, I guess. I had one of those already. That's nice. Okay. I know he's really weak, but he's more so for the buff. Or I guess you could have him as a sniper in the back or something. I'm, ass I'm assuming this is a 10 card pack because it was a thousand. Same row as him, gain one attack. He's got okay health. Okay. Another obelisk. Bear paw. Chance the unit gains plus two attack, plus two health. And bear paw enters play. So I'm assuming I get to pick an enchanted unit. Enchanted unit's countdown increases by one, so it makes it attack slower. Sacrifice all your structures. Enchanted creature gains additional attack health. Equal the number of structures. Chanty unit disregards next damage taken. Plating is removed afterwards. This makes it invincible for one attack. Targets cooldown decreased by one. Brother of the wolf. I played this in the tutorial. It summons a wolf. I never got to see that in action. Regular unit. Okay, cool. So that was buying a pack. Obviously with this you can buy scrolls from particular sets. Um, let's buy a random scroll and see what it does. Moves it unit to a random tile. Let's buy one more. When enchanting unit is attacked, attack becomes poisoned for three rounds. I still don't know what poison does. But, um, alright, so that's enough spending my in-game currency. Um, you guys get an idea of what the game's about and what the things you do. Um, so, I'm hoping to play this more, but uh, this was just a quick look. So thanks for watching this video, guys. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this or whether you think this is dumb. <laughs> I'm assuming if you've watched this far, you're at least if you've watched this far, you're at least mildly interested in the game or just like listening to me talk, which is entirely possible. So my voice sounds so so soothing and and uh, I got nothing. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.
Yeah. It's my theme song.